When it comes to agricultural land use, beef cattle are more than meets the eye. Cattle can play a role in improving our land, and that makes our ruminant friends pretty cool. Land takes up 29% of the Earth's surface. You're probably wondering how we even fit into all this. So here's the deal. Globally, the agricultural industry occupies around 123.6 million acres, which is about 38% of all available land. Agricultural land is divided into two categories, arable land, which is where we grow plants for food, and marginal land, which is land not suitable for growing crops. Livestock takes advantage of crops grown on about 40% of arable land. They're consuming about 14% of human edible foods. The remaining 86% is a mixture of forages and byproducts used for feed that humans can't eat. This is where our cattle friends make their entrance. Marginal land, aka pasture land and grassland, naturally produce grasses and roughage that cattle graze upon. These areas tend to receive little to no water, have low quality soils and high mountains, you know, bunch of rocks. Much of what the cattle eat on these lands is of no nutritional value to humans. Not to mention if we eat it, our stomachs will never forgive us. There are a few ways that cattle restore land health within these regions. One of those ways, managed grazing. The idea is quite simple. Let's say we take a herd of cattle and we section them off into four areas of a pasture. Farmers let the cows graze upon the grass in one area. Periodically, they then shuffle them into the next. This prevents the cattle from overgrazing in one spot. When done correctly, the land has time to rest. It encourages growth and allows the grasses and soil to sequester carbon, leaving behind a healthier ecosystem. Cattle do require a large part of land to graze, but remember that most of that land and its resources are unusable to us as a human race. Since the 1920s, human population has quadrupled. The need for food is a growing issue, and research into making use of all land can be a vital way we can take on food insecurity. security.